update you on a couple things and um, let you know about some things that you do not need to waste your money on. Like, seriously. Well, it's not these. Remember I showed you guys these rugs and the reason I got them because they were washable and they would be put in the kitchen. So that's why I got them. We have washed these bad boys two times. Two times, okay? No fraying, no anything. Like, they are still doing really well. All of them are still doing good. And I wanted to update you guys on those because some of you might have been leery because um, it's kind of hard to find really good, good washable rugs. And these are from Target. Um, if you can find a vi my video, you will see when I first bought them and put them down. So we've had these for over a month and they have been washed a couple times and they are doing great. So just wanted to let you know that. Now. I was doing a kitchen refresh, and I wanted to share these with you guys. I was excited about getting these because these were um, a lighter bar stool. I was really excited. I got these from Target. Um, and, yeah, I couldn't wait to get them. These were the ones we was having the issues with. And remember I told you guys the price had changed, and they were trying to finagle me and not give me the markdown price when I had literally placed the order in less than 24 hours and then they dropped down tremendously, I think like $30 a piece. So long story short, get them and buyer beware. They suck, they look cute, they look cute now. They look cute, they look cute, but they suck. I love the concept of them, I love what they look like, but look at this, I have contacted Target, I've been trying to put furniture polish from the Dollar Tree around this to hide this which happens every time it hits my island let me see i'm gonna get you a good good picture hope the lighting is good look at this bull crap fake freaking wood it is so hard and this is why i love buying secondhand stuff because you don't have to worry about this bull crap you know how many times i was just like you know what forget it. i'm just gonna keep marking it up with my marker the furniture marker but if it hits again it just cracks that right off of the furniture marker and this side is ridiculous do y'all see that do y'all see that so do not if you see these I'm showing you them they swivel they're nice but they suck now if you have an island or something you want to put them by now I can't raise this up high enough so that it won't hit my island it kind of happens when people move or get out the chair not only that even if I could raise these above the island the chairs are doing the same thing, and they're not bumping into nothing on the sides over here. So this is fake faux wood. This is not real wood, and yeah, it's chipping up on the sides over here. Just disgusting. Just disgusting. So now I might be barstoolless until I literally go out and shop and fill it and sit in them and, you know, just shop in person instead of online. I was so excited about these, but they're not worth it. So do not, do not, do not. And they have three colors. So you might see them in a different color. They have a brown, like a dark brown, and then they have a light natural wood color. So do not get them. They're not real wood. They suck. Then I was thinking, hmm, what if I sanded them? But I don't know what this is under there, y'all. Because, wait, I don't know if it's real wood or... Because it's kind of looking like real wood. But I'm like, I didn't buy them to redo them for the price that I'm paying. Now, if I paid like $15, $20 for them, maybe. But then again, um, I don't know. Maybe it is real wood. I don't know. But today, you can't. It's hard to find real wood. I know that the coating is not real. I do know that. I do know that. So, I don't know. I'm definitely not happy. I contacted them. They said somebody would get back to me. I haven't heard from them. So I'm going to try to reach out again. If I don't hear anything, I will be taking these back and still calling them back to complain. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And this right here, thank God it's on this side. That Come on now. These are not even a month old. Maybe a little over a month. But still, you don't buy stuff to, to see wear and tear that early. It's ridiculous. And these. Don't believe the hype. I had happy, Naya had energy, and we got these. What day did we get these? I don't even see the date on here. But anyways, we got these a couple days ago. We was excited because they smell so good. Do you know when you burn these for like two minutes, they smell like car oil? 
Like, you ever been to a mechanic shop and it smells like oils, like, because they may have do, may have done, I'm sorry, may have done, like, oil changes, so they got old oil sitting around, that burnt old oil smell, I don't care. I can be getting some sandwich bags, some more sponges or something, those are going back, they are absolutely disgusting, don't let nobody tell you that they smell good, they do not smell good. Only thing that I can say that I'm happy with at this point, for the kitchen refresh that I was trying to share, is my rugs my rugs those are a go and like I said they come in different colors they're nice and they definitely wash really well so I wanted to share that with you but do not buy these from Target they suck they suck so just want to update you guys because I know some people share stuff but they don't update and I like to try to do that because some people might want to wait a while to see how you fill it out because it could look nice when you first get it but not care nice to care for it or you know once you do what they say it's known for it's washable whatever it start falling apart and stuff so we're gonna wait a couple more months too and see after it's been washed about 10 times <laughs> you know what i'm saying and see but we don't really get them dirty but if we do um i'll probably wait about four or five months and come back after they've been washed uh some more times and go from there but just so you know if you want to know uh, today was a steak and potato day we were all lazy. My steak is in the refrigerator and we did not even have steak today. So I don't know what we're having. It's just going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. But the good thing is we didn't have these either because my aunt came into town. So they had pizza. See, remember what I said? We always have DiGiorno's pizzas and quick stuff on hand. So they didn't even have fish and chips. So hubby may do those when he get back. I don't know. I let him do the frying stuff. He is a beast. Oh my gosh, we're fried foods. So yeah. Um, and then we'll probably put down to tomorrow and goulash down to Friday. You know, that's what we do. We already things because we shop month, month, uh, every Monday for them. And if we don't eat something, we just push it to the next day because we have the items in our refrigerator. And that's why I'm so glad I'm back into doing the menu. And what we're doing is it every two weeks. So this um, Saturday, we will be making the menu for the next two days. Now, one of my kids wanted chili. It was on this day, but I thought chili and goulash back to back, that was just too much. And I knew the chicken divine would be something, or DVN, whatever you want to call it, would be something that, um, um look how Riz spelled it, would be something that will have leftovers. So that's why, um, I didn't do all five days for this week. And so, yeah, we pushed chili over to this particular week. And that will be um, something we don't have to shop for because we shop for it in this week. And so now we just be getting the other four items for the week when we go shopping on next Monday. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in the video, make sure you leave it below. And I will talk to you guys later. Gators.